Hello friends and welcome to my channel Codecraft Shop. My name is Salesh Kushwaha and in this course you will learn what is Nexus repository, how can we install Nexus repository in OpenShift 4, log into Nexus repository and in the end we will have a demo. So guys please watch the video till end. So what is Nexus repository? Nexus is a repository manager. It stores build and artifacts. We can also say that it is a local repository manager like central repository but it is preferred as an internal repository manager. It allows us to proxy, collect and manage our dependencies so that we need not to juggle uh, around our collection of jars. So let us take an example. Suppose I am working in an organization and my organization has a lot of products. So rather than downloading uh, dependencies for each and every product from the central repository, what my organization can do is like uh, it can create a local repository and through that local repository it can uh, proxy the uh, central repositories the benefit of doing so is that uh, we can download the dependencies from the local repository at a rapid rate uh, than the central repository so how can we install Nox nexus repository in openshift 4 in order to install nexus repository in openshift 4 i need to go by docker image sona type by nexus 3 so i will use the container image platform of openshift 4 and using that platform i will provide the image stream docker image stream i mean to say and uh, using that stream i can create the application and that nexus repository gets instantiated for me so in the screenshot you can see that I have used the container image and I am passing in the Sona type Nexus 3 image and once I click on create button uh, Nexus repository will be created for me and I can access the application using the route. So in order to log into the Nexus repository I need username and password. So by default the ad username is admin but the password is not visible to us so we need to navigate to the port and to the following location that is nexus data and then admin.password so I will give you the details in the demo so guys please watch the video till end so login to nexus repository in order to login I already have told that uh, the default user is admin and the for the password we need to execute some commands at the pod level so in the screenshot you can see that I have executed some commands and through that commands I can get the temporary password using that temporary password I can set up the uh, you know permanent password so we will see it in the demo so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please go and subscribe because it will help you in getting the latest updates whenever I upload. So I have logged into my system using my admin credentials. Developer user is having the admin credentials in my case. So I will click on container image and then inside the image name I will type Sona type by Nexus this is the docker image that we are using to install a nexus repository so it has validated the uh, the image now I'm click I will click on create button so once I click on create button a pod will be get spin up and it will instantiate our application but it will take some time We will look into the logs. So if you can see on the screen the admin user has been created and the password has been stored at the, this location. So we will navigate to this location 
and we will get the temporary password so click on the terminal and then cd nexus hyphen data and then we will edit the file so this is the temporary password that has been created while setting up the nexus repository so i will copy this one and we will come out of this screen so if you can see on the screen the nexus repository has been started So we we'll log in into the system. So the password is user is admin and the password that I have copied. So I pasted the password and I will click on sign in button. So if you can see we have signed in into the system. So now it is asking for changing the password. So I am changing the password. and I will select this enable anonymous access and then I will click on next button then I will click on finish button so if you can see I will click on the browse button and then you can if you can see we have all the global repositories over here and we have the central maven repository we have this maven public repository so nexus provide two kinds of repositories one is private repository and another is uh, you know using nexus repository we can connect to the global repositories or we can say that the central repositories so guys this is all about the demo thank you for watching this video if you have if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please go and subscribe and you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at the handle CodeCraftShop. Thank you.